how do I look? All right. So in the last episode, toward the end, I said that the wench looked like it was a little bit bleached because it was so light in color. But I since have been cutting up a lot of wedge on the table saw, I kind of found out that just like a lot of other woods, wedge when you first cut it will actually be very lighter. The There's a dark grain and then there's a light grain, like contrast. And it's a high contrast in wedge. And as it ages, it gets darker. So, you know, it looks like this is just gonna be, there's just gonna have to be a chest that will be this color which I don't think it's a bad color, but not everybody's gonna like it. But I've been cutting up a lot of wench today, and what I found is that it's just very dark where it is exposed to the light, and then once you cut it open, it is much lighter on the inside. So all that means is that chests are gonna have to get darker a little over time. So anyways, that's just a side note, not really important, but I wanted to throw that in there. This is maple and maple's a little bit unstable, but when I put some splines in them on the table saw going this way, it'll make this joint very, very strong. I cut grooves in these pieces for splines. I'm going to join these together and they're going to make up these horizontal shelves. And then... You are not a professional. I just... <laughs> okay, right now I'm cutting the splines so that I can put splines in these and glue them, clamp them all together. These are going to make up the horizontal shelves here. So these shelves are made out of cherry for this prototype, but in the real boxes they're going to be made out of maple. And I'm going to make them a little thicker so that I don't have to have this extra border here that I have. So that's all going to be eliminated, of course, except for these vertical pillars here, which are going to help hold up the middle of the box. But for right now, I'm just making the maple parts 